Hello there programmers and welcome to another episode in our tutorial series on learning Flask programming in the Python language. I am Chris Franklin. Okay, well today um, we're going to start with a project that's already been done. Okay, um, I'm going to run through this project really quick so that you can see what it is. If you need to play catch up, feel free, but this is a pretty standard um, project. We're just um, starting, if you haven't followed along with the series up to this point, um, I did a tutorial lesson on building a project using HTML inheritance. That's actually what I'm starting from here. Um, so if you want to go back and follow along, if you don't understand HTML inheritance, uh, that would be a good lesson to, to do before jumping into this one. Uh, what we're going to cover today is actually loading static files inside of Flask. So you have to already have an idea of how to put HTML files in there and already know what HTML and CSS uh, are. Okay. Um, so let's just jump straight in here. Uh, I have four files already in this project. I have my main.py and then my templates directory with a base.html, index.html, and user.html. Uh, pretty straightforward, simple content. Our main file actually just sets up our Flask app and sets up two routes on it, uh, the home route and the user route. Okay, And then we're rendering templates for each of those. Then we have a base.html. This is actually um, the base template that we're using uh, to inherit in our other uh, uh, files. So you can see here we have a block uh, for the title and a block for the content. Uh, and that's pretty much all that we have in here at this point. Our index.html is our home route and we extend from base.html and define our title and content blocks. Uh, User.html is very similar. Uh, we're extending from the base.html and then define our title and content. The only thing that's different on these two files is the actual content that's being defined in between these blocks. Okay, so if you don't understand that, jump back, uh, check out that tutorial series, then come back here and we'll finish this up. All right, if you're still with me, let's go ahead and jump into adding static, uh, static files into our project. So we've already added a templates directory, and this is where all of our HTML files live. But if we want to, we can also define in here a new directory, and we're going to call this static. Okay, this is a default directory. It gets uh, every Flask project looks for this directory to be here. If it's not, it ignores it. If it is, it knows what to do with the content inside of it as far as how to load it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do something that's pretty common. We're going to set up a style.css. Now you can do different styles for each of your pages. You can do a main style, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to do style.css, set up this project, and then let's go ahead and bring this up here so we can see it at the same time as our base.html. The reason we're going to do this is because I'm just going to define a pretty basic style that I want to share uh, on all of my pages. Um, we're going to do something that's pretty to make it pretty obvious what we're doing. So we're going to do our header tags uh, that are already, as you can see, in each of our pages. We have H1s in there. So we're doing an H1 header. And um, if you don't know CSS, it's pretty straightforward and easy to learn. What we're going to do is we're going to set a color. Then we're going to set our font size. And uh, we'll just make them big just so that we know. 2EM, our font weight. Uh, we can do something bold, or I'm just going to do normal, and then uh, let's do text transform. Uh, let's turn everything to uppercase. Why not? Okay. Um, so I'm just setting up a really basic style sheet. We're not going to go real crazy here. Um, this is not a tutorial on how to do CSS. Okay. Now, we want to include this style sheet. This is our base style sheet. So we want to include it in base.html. It's going to be included on every page from this point forward. OK, um, now the way we're going to do that is very similar to how we do it in uh, other static pages. We're going to create a link and we're going to set the rel to style sheet. OK, that tells it that we're loading in a CSS file and then we're going to send in our href. Now from here, this is where things get a little different. Inside of a Flask template, what we're going to do is we're going to open up our double brackets and we're going to do a UL4 on the file that we're loading. But we're going to tell it we want to load from the static directory and we're going to say the file name is equal to equal to 
uh, style.css. Okay. And then we're going to close those brackets. Oops. Inside of the, the um, quotation marks there. And then we're going to close off this tag. So that's it. Um, let's go ahead and close these two down because we don't, we don't need them open right now. So now you can see top and bottom. You can see our style sheet and then we're loading it in here. We're doing, we're using that UL4, URL4 uh, block here. Okay. So this is great. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's just make sure that everything works as we expect it to. So inside of our main.py, we're going to go ahead and hit play. We're going to run it. Uh, and now I already have opened the window that has this page in it. I'm going to hit enter. We're going to load it. Um, oh, and I missed some. Oh, yep, there we go. I got a little overzealous with my deletion. So let's go ahead and save that file. Come back here. I, I'm, I didn't put the closing parentheses here. And this is that's what this is telling you. Unexpected um, uh, curly brace. We we expected to see the closing. So there we go. This is our shared he header, and this is our home page. If we go to either page slash user, for instance, we can see it's there. So there you go. Now you can see this is everything is red. Everything is capital letters, despite the fact that in the actual file themselves, if I open the index, you can see it's uh, all lowercase except for the first letter. Okay. So that's great. Um, we can see that that works, but we can also load from subdirectories underneath static. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy uh, an image from um, from my file system, and I'm going to create a folder in here, uh, and I'm going to call this um, the, let's call it images. Make it nice and simple. This is a typical way to organize a website, and then I'm going to paste. Uh, and I'm going to say, okay, so this is a, um, an image from one of my other, uh, tutorial series. You can see it's just, it's a pretty s simple PNG file. Okay. Um, now what we're going to do is on the home page, I want to load this image. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something very similar to what I did on the base page on the index.html underneath the header. I'm going to create an image tag. So IMG. And we're going to set the source and then we're going to do URL four and make sure we don't mess it up this time. So we're going to do static and file name equals. Um, and from here we load images slash intro to flask dot PNG. Okay. And then uh, we want to close that with a parenthesis and then double curly braces here. And then here we just want to close this tag and that's it. So we're going to save this file. It should reload everything automatically for us. We refresh the page and there you have it. Now we've loaded that image file in from our static directory. That's it. That's all there is to it. You can now use this to build cascading style sheets um, you, just like you would any normal static website. So you can create a cascading styles by loading the style sheets in the order of which one you want to load first and which ones have overrides in them after that. Um, you can load in from other director uh, from other frameworks. You can load in Bootstrap or um, Bulma or any of the other JavaScript and CSS frameworks that are out there and then use your own inside of your flash project to overwrite uh, whatever styles you need to overwrite. Okay, well, I hope to see you in the next tutorial lesson. We'll get to dive a little bit deeper into flask and see some of the cool things that we can do with it. I look forward to seeing you then. Have a great day.